Hello, welcome. Let's have a little correction on this uh, BC 2024. That's question number four. The A, B, C, and D. Uh, especially the, the B part. I had uh, a construction on this and there is a, a correction to be done on the B part. So let's see how we can get that correction. So from here we are constructing triangle P, Q, R, such that the angle at Q is 90. So I'm beginning with the QR as 8 centimeter. So we have our line segment. Then I measure 8 centimeter. So this is going to be our QR with the 8 centimeter. We had the angle 90 at exactly where the Q is, so I'm going to construct 90 degrees. So for that case, I'll be extending this line a bit. The body is not that big, so, okay. So we put our compass point at the Q. Then open any reasonable radius and make an arc and an arc. And on those two arcs, we make another arc above. Okay, so that gives rise to the 90 degrees we are looking for. So let's join that intersection arc with Q. So with this, we have our angle 90. Since we are dealing with triangle PQR, we have RQP. P is going to be on this perpendicular line, which measurement could be PQ, P and Q. Let's measure that on our ruler using the compass. Stand at where the Q is and make that arc. So now that we have the arc, it means our point P is going to be here. So we can complete the triangle by joining the vertices of P and R together to form the required triangle. So now we have our 5.5 centimeter here. We have our 8. So now the D, we are to construct a perpendicular of P. R, which is coming from the Q. And in the previous episode, this is how I have constructed it, which is an error, because that construction is based on the bisector of the angle P, Q, R. So, radius, we stand at the Q, any horizontal radius, make an arc, we arc, we come back to those arc we did. We make an arc. The second one, we make an arc. Good. Bisector. Good. So in this case, this is a bisector. Okay, so from that correction, we are having PQ. A perpendicular on PQ is coming from Q. So we stand with our compass point at the Q, which is the, the point at which we are drawing the perpendicular from. Then open a compass to make a cut on the line PQ, to arc on that line PQ. Then we stand on each of the arc, make an arc above it or below it. Good. So this is the correction to what I have first. From reading a lot of comments from Facebook, we can see that the first construction was a bisection, not a perpendicular line. So this is the good. So now with this, we are going to locate 
M, the point of intersection of the perpendicular line we've drawn, and that of what? PR. So this is where the M is. Alright, so this will also bring a change in the calculation of the area that we had in that previous episode. So here we are measuring MR. MR. So we are going to measure the MR. Let me use it downwards from zero. That give us seven. I'll be having seven centimeter. Then we are also going to measure QM. QM. That measurement will also be done. We have 4.2 in the case of this 4.2 centimeter. So you will write the answer on each from here, but I don't have a space, so I'm writing on the diagram. So if this is done, then the calculation of the area of triangle QMR, QMR will become half of the base times the height. Or half of the base times the height. We know the base and the height are always perpendicular to each other. So this is going to be either the base or the height. So for E, we can say the area equals to half the base times the height. And the base could be any of this. So we're having 4.2 times 7. And 4.2, half of that. If you divide this by 2, you'll be having 2.1. You know, half of this will be 2. This will be 1. So 2.1 times 7. And I'll be having 2.1, 7. 7 times 1, 7 point. Then we have 14. So that will be giving us 14. Point seven. We are to calculate correct the nearest whole number. So if the nearest whole number, we can say the area will be equals to this is the whole number approximated to give us 15 centimeter squared. And in the previous episode, also there was an omission of the square. That was just an omission of the square. So the square should it is the area as a dimension, which is a two-dimensional measurement. Thanks for watching and I believe you have also grabbed the, the difference between what we did in the first episode and this. Thanks for my Facebook loyals for pointing out the correction to me. Bye-bye.